Lesson 1. Acousto-Optic Modulation. From the TIE Sapphire laser, we have about 800 nanometers of light, and we frequency triple it to produce a bright 267 nanometers. And then together with the uh, fundamental beam and the third harmonic, we generate a fourth harmonic, which can be seen as the small dot there on the uh, paper. You, the human eye can't really see 200 nanometers, but by exciting the bleach in just regular paper, you can see where the beam is. So the beam, as you can see, inputs to the acousto-optic modulator Bragg crystal, which is housed in here. Now the whole idea of this is to take a Bragg crystal or a crystal material that behaves such that when you induce a very high frequency uh, sound wave by using an electric drive or a transducer, you could actually change the refractive index of the material, which oscillates at the frequency at, at, at which it's driven. So the crystal is housed in here, and we're driving it through this cable. And at the output, one should see a diffracted beam, which gradually um, moves at an angle. So if we go around here, one can see at a distance, the divergence really starts to show. And you can see the center beam there is the zero order. And then you have the plus and minus orders. And you probably can't see it from the camera. But the second and third orders are there, but very weak. And right now the generator is set to 2 hertz. So... The refractive index will oscillate at two cycles per second. So say if we increase this to well, 11 hertz, it goes faster. And say let's go to 60 hertz, which is um, the common frequency in our TVs and computer monitors. The human eye can't decipher um, or can't distinguish that speed, so it looks like steady state. And so one can modulate this up to very high frequencies, such as 1 megahertz, 5 megahertz, uh, much higher frequency than a standard optical chopper. And there you have it, lesson one.